What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Football Talk video and today's topic is Jose Mourinho and Manchester United. What is going wrong with Mourinho who lost uh, half of his games, almost half of his games in the last two seasons. And for a serial winner like Mourinho, that's a big, big decline. So let me know, is Mourinho finished? Is Mourinho done? Or is this just a blip in uh, in his managerial career and will he come back? Will he, will he rebuild Manchester United or will he fail? Will he get sacked at Manchester United? I don't... Th I think the fans are getting restless already because Man United are just not producing the results. And I would love to know your opinion. I also will share my opinion in this video, but this video is also to share your opinion in the comments below and I will read through all your comments and reply reply to some of them because I want to get uh, interactive with you guys and I want to discuss uh, big football topics so if you want to see more football talk videos like this make sure to smash the like button and let me know in the comments below what do you want me to talk next that I could be talking about some Liverpool interesting Liverpool transfer news in the January transfer window Jurgen Klopp said some uh, things about that so I might make a video about that later today but uh, the big question is, what is going wrong in Manchester United? I'm absolutely loving it as a Liverpool fan because Man United are really, really struggling. And for a, for a club who spent incredible, absolutely insane amounts of money, they spent more than £150 million in just this summer alone. And their squad, their whole squad of players is actually the most expensive squad ever assembled in world football costing around 600 million pounds and the way they are performing I mean they scored the two goals in the last four games from 71 shots yes you heard that right 71 shots two goals Zlatan Ibrahimovic only scored one goal in 11 games he now finds it really really difficult in the Premier League and in English football to produce uh, week in week out the goals and to be fair he has get the, he has been getting the chances but he has been failed uh, to fi fire uh, to the back of the net and, and Man United in my opinion have problems all over the pitch their defense is very shaky they have a lot of injuries uh, Luke Shaw was in and out of the team so the left back spot wasn't settled but now that uh, Chris Smalling was out injured and uh, Eric Bailey got injured their defense just looks not good enough their second choice defenders like Marcus Rojo um, Phil Jones Matteo Darmian they are just not good enough and uh, the Telegraph newspaper are already saying in an article that Man Manchester United and Mourinho will ship out eight players at least maybe in January or next summer and uh, and uh, Memphis Depay, Ashley Young, Rojo, Darmian, Phil Jones, Schneiderlin, Carrick and Schweinsteiger will be those players and uh, and yeah I'm just uh, very curious what do you guys think uh, what is wrong at Manchester United I think Mourinho do doesn't know his first team but also the way he has been treating his players and the way that he has been uh, you know having issues with the uh, personnel at the club like at Chelsea he had this bust up with the doctor Eva Carneiro and uh, and basically then the two players turned against them and uh, what I also found uh, is very interesting argument is that every club before uh, uh, he became Real Madrid manager at every club he could he could instill this underdog mentality into his players at Porto at Inter Milan uh, he could be the underdog of the team at Chelsea when he first came to Chelsea. Chelsea won, didn't win the league title for 50 years. So he could uh, he could uh, instill this mentality, this underdog mentality. This is uh, this us against them mentality. But at Real Madrid, you cannot do that because Real Madrid, one of the biggest clubs in the world, the underdog mentality just doesn't fit. And also when he came back to Chelsea. Um, you know, most of his uh, players who he used to work with was uh, about to retiring, only John Terry remained in the end. And Mourinho lost the dressing room in the second season because uh, I think uh, the players got a little bit, uh, you know, 
uh, disappointed or uh, disjointed with his tactics because I remember in the title winning season up until Chelsea lost 5-3 to Tottenham they were playing really attractive really expensive football and from January onwards they are they were playing for 1-0 for 2-0 just being very defensive solid, defensively solid not nothing wrong with that but uh, and they won the league title like that but uh, maybe the players just uh, lost their way uh, somewhere along the way the, in the, and uh, after not um, you know giving them they gave, Mourinho gave the players a, a big break and they came back, some of them overweight and then it was just an absolute car crash, a disaster of a season for Chelsea and I think uh, it left a mark on Jose Mourinho it, it doesn't seem like the same manager who came into English football and he was so successful at Chelsea maybe the dressing room politics at Real Madrid and the dressing room politics at Chelsea in his last season maybe that took its toll because for Jose Mourinho to attack his own players like uh, he has done recently and to be fair, in my opinion, it's justified but there are huge egos in the Manchester United dressing room and I think this is, this is my argument why it's going wrong at Manchester United is that Jose Mourinho uh, just can't really deal anymore with so many big egos the way he used to he used to instill this underdog mentality that I was talking about but now at Manchester United, he can't do that. These players haven't been performing for the best part of two, two and a half, maybe three years. And I don't think it's entirely the manager's fault, to be honest, because under Moyes and under Van Hal and now under Mourinho, these same players have been underperforming and not playing as well as they should have and maybe could, could, could have done. And, uh, and also, I think Mourinho is uh, having uh, really big issues to motivate these players to bust their gut and to do the dirty, dirty work for them because for Mourinho and for Mourinho's tactics to work even the wingers have to track back and have to be very disciplined defensively and the players have to play for the manager 100% for that to work, for this tactical system to work. Some of the players have to sacrifice and do the dirty work. And I think Manchester United, there are not enough players uh, who are willing to like fight through a brick wall for Jose Mourinho. And this is my argument. I think um, he created a kind of a distance between himself and the players. Now, especially uh, after the criticism of uh, you know Luke Shaw in particular he singled out he singled him out the treatment of Bastian Schweinsteiger Bastian Schweinsteiger is a World Cup winner absolute icon a legend in my eyes legend of world football and he isn't even allowed to train with the reserves Henrik Mkhitaryan apparently has been fit for one month he only played like uh, 20 or 30 minutes for, for uh, Man United against Fenerbahce but before that, for a whole month, he was nowhere to be seen. Uh, Memphis Depay as well doesn't get any chances, any playing time. Um, Anthony Martial has been in and out of the team. So a lot of players uh, are treated very weirdly, in my opinion, um, at, with Jose Mourinho and uh, and uh, the other players maybe are just not fighting 100% for him so that's my theory but I would love to know what you think what is going wrong at Manchester United will he get sacked will the Manchester United board show patience with him I think uh, if, if Mourinho gets sacked where do Man United go from there there are no uh, really good managers available and it would be an even bigger gamble. So I think what they will do is stick with Mourinho, throw even more money at the problem, and it shows the the lack of uh, you know leadership and the lack of planning at Manchester United. That they they are basically just throwing money at the problem. They hired uh, uh, Mourinho and just gave gave him uh, a lot of money to spend, but. Unless there is a plan, a structure, I mean look at Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool, I don't want to compare the two situations, but Jurgen Klopp had a profit 
net spend, a positive net spend in the summer transfer window and Liverpool look twice as good a team this season as they did last season so it's, it shows that it's not all about the money it's all about finding the right players who fit the system and who can give everything for the cause and I think Manchester United players are not giving everything for the cause but let me know what do you think in the comments below and thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, see you later, goodbye!